Okay, so we're going to change the oil in the bike. Um, obviously, it'll be this side of the bike you want to uh, concentrate on. Um, obviously, you've got your oil window there, but there's enough in there. Now, the filter on these um, is actually like the Hondas they're based on. It's a, a metal gauze, or it's a thimble type in this one. Whereas on the CBF it's like a, a flat um, mesh. There's like a wedge shape holder that goes in. We're on here. The thimble shaped mesh. Um, it's like you can put your film in it kind of thing on a spring. that's screwed in somewhere under here I assume. So we're going to have to take the, the belly pan off. These screws. This will screw here and obviously the other side. And remove that before we get under there. Okay, we're going to use a drip tray. Obviously, this is just an old um, tub for the sink from the from your kitchen sink that I kept when we replaced it for a new one. Obviously, it's good enough for this. It'll just it'll fit underneath and catch the catch the oil. Some people do use a cut up. Um, bottle or anything like that, like the big square ones, anything that can um, catch the oil. I actually, because I, after about six months or so, changed the oil, because um, it's still a fairly new bike, um, you're bound to have uh, the metal filings and stuff like that from run, run, the engine being running, because it's still a fairly new engine. That's why you should really change the oil quite frequently when your bike engine is still fairly new. Um, this kind of stuff from Halford is uh, good enough to use. I had some of that there but I topped up um, mine in the air so it's not quite full so I can't really use that. So I'll, I'll, well that's good enough, the, the 10, 10 W44 stroke. Um, but when I went the other day, the the Castrol was the same, well, a penny difference. So for the same for a litre, the 10 W44 stroke. So um, I thought I'd try this for the sake of a penny. You might as well. But, but something like the Halfords um, one is fine. Um, I'll just keep, I'll keep that to the side now because I'll be using this. Um, We'll get. We'll take a look at uh, getting down and do it now. What I, what I do generally tend to do with the old oil that I collect, because it's not that old. Um, my lawn petrol lawn mowers do use the same white oil and type oil, so uh, I keep that and bottle it, and generally put it in my lawn mowers. Can also use it for a bit in my cheap um, hair tools as well to keep them lubricated. Okay, so that's a little tip for you actually on the lawnmower. It's just a four-stroke um, petrol engine. If you don't have um, any lawnmower oil, it is just a 10W40 as you can see there, or it's otherwise known as SAE30. So it's exactly the same oil, same on your your bike if you can't get any oil in the petrol station or your, lo or your local Halfords or something you can go nip into a DIY store and go straight to the, um, the lawn mower and buy the 4 stroke um, SAE30 or 10W40 for the lawn mowers because it's the same it's the same type of oil although you prefer to use a curb one specifically uh, for use with motorbikes but it's the same kind of thing well i can't find the i can't find the screw for the little uh, thimble filter on here anywhere underneath usually it should be around about here I don't know, maybe I have to um, take this cover off, this engine cover off here, 
with the clutch and everything and the old filter rotor is to get at it and I'm not going to do that um, today you do have to do that on the CBF it's located about here but inside but it's, it's like a th like I say a thin slice filter goes um, whereas it's a thimble one and usually they're on a spring and you can screw them in and that's what it looked like on Alex Moto spares so that's what I'm assuming I'm looking for but I can't see it in this light I mean I've got a torch that should be enough I just cannot see it for the life of me under here all I can see all I can see is the bolt to uh, release the oil here for some Okay, so if you undo your topping up bolt in my case here, you might have um, something to uh, to grab onto with your uh, fingers to turn it like that. Um, it's a bolt in my case. Um, you just undo that just to let the air pressure out. Apparently first, before you undo the bolt, that's what they recommend you do, so you might as well do that first. Okay, so we can then undo the sump bolt, this is, um, where is it, a 17 size, 17mm bolt. Uh, is it side? Screw that out, the oil should just fall out. Now, they do recommend this washer here. They do recommend that you change that for a new one. And you can get that on the uh, CMPO. Um, so I just can see the oil coming out there now. Um, but personally, as long as it looks okay, you should be able to get away with just using that washer again. I don't think many people do uh, bother to actually bother changing the washer really on most bikes when they do it. But they do recommend that you do. That's probably because of the the seal that might be um, on there when the washer uh, is fully torqued and crushed down. It might bend the washer, the bolt, and when it's moved from where it was originally and then moved around a little bit more, when you put it back in again, there might be a kink in the washer and that might not quite seal it as well as it was previously. But you should generally be okay as long as you can inspect it and it doesn't look too warped or bent. It should be fine. Now, like I say, I'm going to keep this oil. Uh, it's the same type as the lawnmowers. It's not that old. I'm going to put it back, back through and, and use it up into uh, my lawnmower. It's, it's got to cut two pieces of grass. It's not going to run the uh, the Le Mans uh, 24 hour of the lawnmower. So this, this uh, oil should be fine. Let's put it back in there again. I'm not going to waste that. It's still pretty dark, but some of this that's coming out now looks, looks starting to look pretty clear. So there's, it's, like I say, it's not that old this oil, but you should really uh, give yourself an oil change with a fairly new motor. Quite free. Once the bolt's been tightened back up and every, all the oil, last bit of oil's been drained out, you might want to might want to get on top of the bolt and give it a shake from side to side while it's still over the tub just to make sure that every uh, last bit as you could you got out of there like I say I've had no joy in trying to locate this um, filter I think, uh, I think it might be on the other side here actually I think this might be this side I'll get I'll get that out and have a look if it is. Yeah, the only 
thing where that thimble filter could be really is in there. And it's a 24 mil um there's a 24 mil on there, but if you look closely there's like a you know like a slot rounding already on there. Over here it was put in at the factory. So I don't wanna and I've got a 24 mil here. Yeah, I mean, it's, there's a lot of play there. It could even be an imperial uh, size that's close to uh, 24 mil. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna attempt to uh, play with that. I don't think. I don't think this should be, should be too um, full of filings or anything at the minute because the engine's still fairly new. So. Um, I think I'll leave that for the minute. I think it'll cause me more headaches than none. But I think if you're looking for the filter, thimble filter, it's behind here. You remove that and it'll be on the end on the spring. You just blow that out with some uh, tap tap the stuff out and give it a blow with a, some compressed air or something. You should be able to clean that and put that one straight back in. But I'm not going to mess with that today because it, by the looks of it, it might be some soft material there, some soft metal. I don't want uh, to cause myself any more headaches than I need to, to be honest. I don't want to end up having to cut a slot on it to get it out because it's chewed up this or it's chewed up the hair of this, that and the other. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to leave that on my phone. Now all I need to do is to fully remove this um, filling cap and refill with the new oil. What I ended up having to do was to stick two um, funnels together to get that in there. Because it really did start to leak back out. It's very shallow, the angle you have to get it in. That way, I can tip that up right and put it right in next to the, the opening. 